Did y'all used to switch classes? That was 20 years ago, yeah. Y'all yeah. used to switch classes on boys? High school, we, we took all to. the same classes. <laughs> it's just something to do. It was just something to do, man. We had to, like... See if y'all get away with it? Yeah, man, we got away with all that. That was, <laughs> that was, that was easy so work? Long. Yeah, that was so long ago. Bro. What's the wildest, if you could say, the wildest switch off y'all pulled? <laughs> Whether it be in the classroom, in sport, in life, it's anywhere gotta else? Be, it's got to be in life, but it ain't appropriate for the cameras. <laughs> I was going no, they like did that. say we switched teams. Like Y'all switched, from, switched teams uh, before? They NBA team. They said we switched NBA teams like like five years ago. So That'd have been like, crazy. Yeah, that's uh, what they said in the playoffs. Yeah, that's that's funny. Yeah, they put a whole story out. That shit ain't true. Uh, <laughs> that ain't true. Did y'all use to switch classes? Now, I will, I will say this, bro. I'm not going to lie. On first listen, I was like, oh, sh-. like I, I get what they were implying, but I didn't really make a big deal of, a deal out of it. And then I let it sink in. I really thought about exactly what they did. And I'm like, nah, that's that's some nasty. That's actually some nasty. Shit. So, yeah. Yeah, that's super tough. nasty. Yeah. That's, that's super nasty. And when they said it, I was like, yo, you niggas are wild for saying some shit like that uh, today. Definitely. But in general, admitting to that is crazy. The self snitch is wild. Um, I, I would was think. Actually- and- you know what? And maybe it's because I have y'all have y'all and I know this is a crazy question to ask specifically D Souls. Have y'all ever been a part of a train? No, I've re- I've declined all the invitations I've got. Yeah, that... you, did you? No, I'm, yes, I'm saying uh, good, good I, I've been invited. I've declined every time. I thought I, even at the time I would have thought it was nasty. Like if, if I'm I did, kid. I've always thought that shit was nasty. That's always been some nasty shit to me. I've never understood it. What's the what's the other one? Maurice, Marcus, and Morris. Marcus, Marcus, Markeith, Marcus, 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 Maurice. Morris. <laughs> Who's the Marcus and Morris? Think his name is Marcus Morris. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm if I'm Marcus and Markeith is like, yo, we, we should switch off, and <laughs> I'm gonna look at him like, yo, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> no, all no, time, no, all time doing? Markeith, I did. Yo, Marcus, hey, you know it'd be funny. Tiffany, we should come over, right? Usually I go in there, but this time it's gonna be you. Ah, like no, bro. Like I would be so mad if my brother did some shit like that to me. And then I'm gonna pull up and say we were trolling. <laughs> then, then, oh, then, yo. then you you gonna have her you gonna have her facing outside, and I'm gonna walk in front of the door and be like, "Babe, it's me." Like, All right, bro. All right. Wait, yeah, no, it's it's really me. It's really, it's really me. It's really me this time. It's, really, right, it's actually me. Like, that makes it sick. Okay, so I think. If we're we're all on a um a similar page to that, what do you how do you feel about the people that are like ah, but they could be talking about like, you know, swapping a P test or you know ah They could, I mean they could I mean in all actuality, they could be talking about anything in the world. Genuinely, we don't know, but they could be talking about anything that you wouldn't want to admit to or self snitch on. So it could be anything. But it's kind of easy to see what was implied because even how the question was asked, it was kind of like a like Matt Barnes's face asking the question, even was kind of like a implement me, but like he was implying some shit with his question. You could assume, like, oh, you were asking us if we did this or something like this, even with some of the shit he was saying, things you did on I mean, off the life, just things you've done before. You ever switched out, like, in general, like in life. Uh, in life, just any time at all in your whole lives, y'all just switched during something at all. Like, all right, they're not going to ad- admit to it now, especially you know that it's, even like people can put two and two together like that. So it's kind of cooked at this point. To well, no, I don't. You know, it's crazy though. I don't. I don't even think that it's kind of cooked. I think that, and this is why, yo, Yachty's pod, uh, all of the smoke, um, for the love of God, hire better people. That too, bro. How how is this slipping through the cracks? Being a uh, you know what I'm saying, an offline recorded podcast. You got editors on deck and shit like that. Watching It'd be it. one thing if it was live, right? If it was, you know, oh shit. I mean, ah, fuck. He said it. I don't know what the fuck to do. They're gonna clip me. But mm-hmm. nah, bro. When you got like FX three FX threes in the studio, bro, <laughs> in four K ten bit, bro, and like all these audio files, bro. Cut that shit out, bro. Someone this- review that shit. And well, I, that's I how you know they really don't care. That's how you know whoever's yeah. like, I, and maybe it's them funding it, but 
if there is a third party funding this and there's a management company behind it, because that's something with a lot of these podcasts I didn't even realize was really going on. Like they legit have managers and shit like that and all that, like signs to these agencies. Um, maybe they genuinely just don't fucking care, which is even crazier to think that there will be a third party source to fund this venture and not give a fuck about the product coming out, not actually having somebody review the footage and chop out that three minute conversation of this entire podcast. Like that's, or this little 30 second clip. They could have did it with literally without that part and just cut from, he, they could even left anything you did in life, and then he could have been like, "Well, we, they said we switched to the playoffs, and that's cool," and just left out the part where he was like, "Ah, oh, we did something where it's inappropriate. We just can't, you know, leave it on the camera." <laughs> you could have just right. t- you could have just took out that part of the the entire portion of them. Oh yeah, I mean, some classes. That was twenty years ago. You don't even need that. None of that's important. That mm-hmm. was not important to the episode. So you could have just cut it out. So motherfuckers just don't care. They really don't. Yeah, and, or they did it on purpose too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think clip hunting and all that shit. Same thing with that yachty shit. I think that they did that on purpose. I I think um also like I know people are talking about like the world being PC and et cetera, et cetera. Um, but people need to hire people for this specific reason, like this specific job. And just listen to what they interpret it as. I would I, mm-hmm. if I was if I was that big. Pause. I would hire what would be called a PC interpreter. Hey, watch the whole thing. If you interpret something that probably doesn't sound right, just bring it back to us. Just run it by us. Break down why this may come off the way it came, and then we'll make the decision. At that point, at least you'll be informed and not be like, oh, I didn't know, or whatever the case may be. But I think they just they let this shit fly. And and what's crazy is even now though, B-Souls, because you said it's too late now, they should come out because I know they see what people are saying. They should come out and be like, yo, we didn't mean any harm by that. You know, it's not what people are alluding to, the sexual mm-hmm. stuff. Like it's nothing like that. Um, it's something totally different. We don't we don't get down like that. That would solve it. Yeah, they they have them. Yeah. Niggas just like fuck it. I don't care. Like I, that's kind of <laughs> let them think that. I'm, who can fuck with the internet? Say hi, right, buddy. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right. You soft ass bitches. The fuck? Yeah, I guess so. And also, totally different. Stephen Jackson, please take them fucking fake glasses off with the Ray Ban logo in the corner. That is a real crackhead behavior. That is a hundred thousand percent. I do drugs behavior. Like, let me see. So I know chat shit... alerts is back on. TTS is back on. I think we've gone to that point of the pod where it's not spammy. So good man. Good, 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 good. Like that shit is come on, bro. You you look like you just stole him out of Lens Crafters. What's wrong with the glasses though? I don't maybe I'm missing it. Nothing's wrong with the glasses, but glasses don't have fucking the, the designer logo at the bottom of the lens. He wants you to know what he's wearing, man. I'm saying. Yo, he wants you to see the frames. Get some pers- Why? Why does it? We see the frames. The frames give it the aesthetic. Fucking words at the bottom throw everything off. That's that's hideous. That's hideous. I ain't gonna lie. I, I can you tell you so glasses. I know. I, I can just tell you so glasses because yeah. I I do not see it. I, I didn't even notice I it. I barely see it. I barely see it, but now that I see it, I still don't get what's so bad about it. You know what I'm saying? What do you mean? Bro, if I got some Gucci sunglasses, I'm going to let you know it's Gucci as much as possible. One, that's weird. Two, sunglasses. <laughs> sunglasses. Nobody on the lens of any glass, they don't have the shit plastered right here. They might have it on the side. It says Gucci or whatever the case may be. But if you're trying to give off the aesthetic of glasses, take this I mean, shit. He look, you know what he looks like? He looks like a crackhead that walked in the list. Oh, I'm just trying stuff on. I'm just trying stuff on. And now he got his hands in his pockets as he's walking towards the door. That's what he looks like. Or, or Damn. hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Or he's an old nigga that's doing old nigga shit like old nigga flexing. He grew up in the era of 
big ass chains and baggy shorts and baggy clothes and spinners. What's the point of spinners? That's some old nigga shit. Them niggas love spinners back in the day, Omar. You know what I'm talking about. Spinners are so fucking stupid and it's such a look at me thing. That's all this is. A look at me thing. He's from the era of niggas wanting you to look at me. It's some old nigga flexing stuff. It's not that it's not that deep. Hey, K Wilk said in the chat, slow news day, boys. Yeah. <laughs> We yeah. talk about Stephen Jackson glasses, <laughs> buddy. No, that shit. I ain't gonna lie. That shit really been pissing me off because he be, he be he's doing it quite often, and then he has that little smile. That that tell him about when I was you make them, tell, you make them make a smile. I was a boy. God, damn. No, because he'll because it, no, it's not. It's just it's the combination. Wait, just nigga glasses. You put tell a smile on top of that. Tell, tell him about when we was on the Warriors and we beat y'all. What do you say? What do you say on um? Oh oh. I, I was on the spores. I was on the spores. I was better than Manu. I was better than Manu, uh, Daddy Green, all them guys. I could Tony compete Parker, with Bron. <laughs> all them guys. And, and yeah, it is something. They'll say some stupid shit. I was never scared of Bron. I was never scared. I was on the Bobcats. All right, please stop. I'm calling the Getty. <laughs> Hey man, Joe, I'm going crazy on the Bobcats, bro. You ever see? Yo, I ain't gonna lie. It's super side tangent. Yo, they had like the clips of like random NBA player clips going by there, on and it was not not on TikTok on the, uh, on Twitter on the timeline. Oh. It was Gerald Wallace highlights when he was on the Bobcats. I'm not gonna lie, I remember going to Bobcat games. I forgot how fucking exciting Gerald Wallace was, man. That was, was great. Athletic two way, you know what I'm saying Super athletic two way wing. Bouncy. Oh, I was kind of excited when the Celtics got him during the net straight low key. <laughs> Like, oh, sh- <laughs> yo, Gerald Rondo Wallace? and Gerald Wallace. We're going crazy. That's <laughs> that's that's going to right? yeah. <laughs> Lob City. The fuck is Chris Paul and Blake Griffin, man? Nah, that was nah, I, nasty time period. Honestly, honestly, I don't like when they be doing that, Damo. Because I be thinking to myself, no, bro. I was back then. And y'all <laughs> never said nothing Wallace? about Josh Smith. Okay. <laughs> now, all of a sudden, oh, man, he would pour crazy today in today's league. No, he wouldn't. Y'all niggas did not care about Josh Smith back then. Y'all hated him. I was there when y'all booed him, okay? There, I said it. Every time he put a three up or even stopped at the three-point line, I heard the boos. 